Well, that's going on, everybody. This is Patrick Midton Outdoors. Come back. We're going to take a look at the new Civivi Herf. What's going on, everybody? It's Patrick Midton Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, I did have to mention. Uh, Last week's video came up on Monday instead of Tuesday. I apologize. I can't read a calendar. That's how that happened. So anyway, um, on with this. I got a new knife this week. Um, when I first saw, <clears throat> saw this thing come up on Instagram, I thought, man, I got to jump on it as soon as it's available. Because it reminded me of another knife that I really like and I dislike at the same time. We're going to change camera angles. We're going to take a look at this together. But I've got the new Civivi Focus. New Civivi Perf. And I really like this knife. I will show you the other knife that I compare this to and tell you why they got it right. Okay, so let's talk about the Civivi Perf now once again it came with the little cloth came in its own little case and a couple of cool stickers for Civivi awesome like it now they offer this in two different versions we'll go over the two different versions they are offered this one if you're looking for model numbers is C2006-B and that stands for black stone wash, which is what this one is. Whoops, my hand was in the way. Which is what this one is. It's black stone wash. See it? It's pretty. Um, they also offer another, which is just a stainless finish, which this is all stainless steel. Uh, overall length is 7.08 .08, 7 inches long blade length is length is three and a half which is not typical for your you know this style of pocket knife anymore unless you get really big ones um the weight on it is 2.8 ounces blade steel they call it their nitro v um now i'm going off of what they've got on their website the blade hardness if you like that kind of stuff which i really don't pay it i, I don't know enough about it to really care I guess you could say is a 58-60 HRC so any knife guys that really know blade steel what kind of steel that really is I think it's just a type of stainless steel it's got a little more product in it shall we say uh, like I said it is a black stone washed finish uh, tip up is the only carry you can get but you can do left or right which is pretty cool and I know some of you like tip down but with the type of system it is as far as the locking system that's kind of well I'm not gonna say impossible but it's be kind of hard to do um, because it is a liner locking system frame lock system I'm sorry I started to say liner a frame lock system as you can see uh, a lot of times what you run into though with the, the frame lock is the blades always kicked off to one side a little bit not really centered, not really focusing, but if you can see it now, that blade's in pretty good shape as far as not being off to one side. Now, I've been carrying this since I got it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm comparing it to another knife though, and I'm going to pull this out. Some of you are probably back there in the back with your keyboards ready to go. I know what that looks like yep the Gerber paraframe now the Gerber shows a little more I like this look I like the look of being able to see the blade through the handles I think it's really cool I've always liked you know this look I like this knife I love this knife it's a frame lock also as you can see it's a frame lock my you know, and let's let's get this out of the way too this is a $40 knife. This is an $80 knife. 
that's the difference between the two I love Gerber I love everything most everything that Gerber puts out this one I have problems with and I'm gonna show you and tell you what the problems are okay so the problems with these two knives or this knife in particular I've always had a problem with this if you look at how wide that thumb stud is on this knife when it's in your pocket, say it's in your pocket like so, you hit this thumb stud going into your pocket to get change or whatever may be in the bottom of your pocket. And it's rough. It's not smooth at all. It's a rough finish. Now I know I could probably do something to make it better, but I should not have to. The other thing I think this holds better about is the flipper thumb stud now I'm used to be really bet much better at thumb studs than I am now but how hard would it have been to eliminate one brace as you'll see they don't have the brace there to put a thumb stud on this knife to get rid of that right there and this knife would be just as good as that knife in my opinion that's my opinion I mean take it for how you, you want, want now I will say this is tip down looking at it this is tip up so there's another difference and you cannot change where your clip goes on this knife at all you're stuck with this side and that's it this one you can at least ch ch uh, change left or right but anyways so I just wanted to show that I wanted to compare that because I mean this is exactly what they were going after is they were going after the Gerber pair frame and there's been a bunch of these sold I know there's been a bunch of these on the market but Civivi got it right um, I will say it has caged ceramic ball bearings in it I do know that I imagine this if I could see in there yep it's just a plastic um, bearing type it's not anything special this one and of course the more you use it put a little of the KPL in it and that thing will start flying open like it's a switchblade <laughs> alright guys that's it I just wanted to bring you my first impressions of this thing I really like this knife it's comfortable to carry it's not that heavy this is not that heavy either they're about the same weight honestly they are about the same weight I like the black finish on this the stone wash finish let me flip it up one more time and we'll take a closer look at it focus focus there you go there's a look at it I really like it I really like the knife it's um, really clean simple um, I give it two thumbs up for the Civivi Perf so like I said this one model number is uh, C2006B and then you can go after the C2006A if you want one in the stainless steel color this is the Gerber though so anyways that's it for now guys I appreciate you watching um, I like my other Civivi my Elementum and I really like this one too I really like the way it feels in the hand be prepared.